The olive and Tyser leech is another favorite lake fly of Brent's. This color combination is one of the most effective choices for most water bodies. We are tying on a size 8 jig hook, 7 64th inch coffee brown bead, olive marabou, small copper wire, copper holographic flashaboo, olive UV2 CLX dubbing. Let's go the bench with Brent. Good day, everyone, and welcome to the segment on the bench. Today I'm going to bring you up a... Uh... Another one of my Enticer Jig Series flies, this is just the olive and copper. Uh, this is probably one of my short list of color favorites for sure. Uh, I love using copper and olive together in lakes, rivers. It's really, really effective. So uh, I'm just getting a bunch of these ready for the uh, web store. Uh, you can pick some of them up there, but I just thought I'd bring you this video as well because a lot of times you guys got time over the winter, you can... Wrap some of your own up. Make sure you have some of these with you. So we dress the shank there. I'm going to use that chartreuse thread. You can use whatever color you like. Come off the side here with some blood quill. Marabou, this is olive. Get a nice undulation for that. And we'll about shank length with that. Take a nice couple of turns. Come over the top here, we'll just wrap that down. Tie in the back, always take a little turn in behind here, that just locks everything in nice and tight. Come in with some nice small, small copper wire. Just catch that in. Get any of those stragglers out of the way if there's anything come through. Take the butts over the the entire shank there just kind of keeps everything nice and level. You know, two strands of my this is Magnum Flashaboo. Now you can use just the regular Flashaboo and copper um, or the uh, holographic. I like this holographic uh, the way it just bounces the light off. It looks really, really good. And uh, my enticer flies basically what I'm doing is putting the flash underneath my collars, um, the, the body doesn't over get overpowering it's it's there but it's not a super bright fly my tishers have been working good for years we've i don't know how many years i've been going on with them but they've been pretty simplistic fly a lot of guys over overlook them then i'll come in with the uv2 selex this is a nice soft material look at all the colors in there Great blend. This is uh, one of my favorite dubbings. Wrap that all up nice and tight and a uh, wire brush. If you don't have a rotary vise to do that, just get you can uh, do a dubbing loop with maybe some finer wire or actually it's small. We can do that in a dubbing loop as well. And uh, or a dubbing block, if another way to go, I would suggest if you're running a you know, operating off with standard vices. Look into getting yourself a dubbing block or make one. They're quite simplistic and you're basically just trapping the material between your thread and the wire and twisting it together. So it, it's not rocket science by any means, but it sure gives you a really, really nice effect. I'll just whip finish that all off. I'll put some head cement on there. I always head cement all my flies as well. Uh, you can put a brush on this. I like I like this collar nice and thin on this one here. It's it's uh, my some of my other ones, my vampires and the, and the other one I tied earlier has got a little brushier collar, push a little more water. This one on my nice slim profile, and uh, boy, it's it's just been a good good color combination for me. And you can use this in streams and rivers. I'm sure it'll work fine for you as well. But uh, you can hang it under an indicator. Um, I strip my leeches all the time. That's why I like to fish them with uh, whatever appropriate line is for my depth, anywhere from the intermediates to type threes, basically. And, uh, you know, if you're you're finding fish in deep water, of course, well, then you got to go to type fives. But you're going to get a density compensated line that'll be able to retrieve your flies uh, straight. You don't want them undulating too much or coming up at an angle. Uh, so, I'd like to thank you again for tuning in and uh, wish you all the best for this one. We would like to thank Brent for bringing us another one of his favorites. Make sure you have some ready for your next fishing trip. 
Thanks for joining us today and make sure to check out our website for more great videos and some exclusive flies from our pro staff.